So in December 2021, I started my NoFap journey and I won from my first try, literally. A few days ago, I made a video talking about like how I won NoFap from my first try. But basically, it was just because I rewired my brain. And right now, I will tell you exactly how I rewired my brain. So basically, uh, in December 2021, I found Hamza on YouTube. And the first thing that I did was watching his NoFap videos. So his NoFap videos were able to uh, rewire my brain in a way that Hamza's voice was stuck in my head, literally, like, keeping me accountable in a way. And that's the second step. So you need to uh, have something keeping you accountable. So this can be either, like, what I did, watching Hamza and having his voice stuck in my head, or uh, you can set uh, huge punishments. I had a few clients succeed by setting punishments, like doing push-ups, sending money to their ex-girlfriends, stuff like that. So these, these things can really work if you have some someone, like, keeping you accountable. So if you don't have anyone that can keep you accountable, you can, like, email me, like you go to the about page of the channel, you can email me, I can keep you accountable. But if you have someone like a friend or a colleague or someone like that, uh, they can keep you accountable. That's really important uh, because when someone is keeping you accountable, uh, it starts rewiring your brain because uh, you start um, associating fapping with pain because if you uh, relapsed, you will need to punish yourself by like this person will tell you like you are such a dumbass. You will also need to like do push-ups or a cold shower or send money to someone. So this starts rewiring your brain because your brain then starts realizing like, fuck, fapping is not just pleasure anymore. It's like also pain. The next thing is affirmations. This can rewire your brain uh, in a way of like subconscious mind. So if you say like, I'm not a fapper anymore, instead of saying like, I'm trying no fap, instead of that, you just start uh, saying like, I'm not that kind of person anymore. I'm not fapping anymore. I'm on self-improvement. I'm not a person who does it that can start helping you if you are consistent with affirmations, like maybe every evening, every morning, something like that. The next thing is you need to be driven towards something or have a purpose. If this is strong enough, you don't need any of the other steps. I didn't have most of these steps uh, in my own uh, journey towards like mastering the rewiring the brain for NoFap because my drive was strong enough. I was, I fell in love with this one girl and it motivated me so much that the drive was so strong that I succeeded from first time, not only in offer, but everything else. I still have streaks in like cold showers since then, stuff like workouts, like meditation, reading, business, everything, because I, I was so driven. So you need to have some sort of a drive, a purpose. The next thing is uh, change location, obviously. So if you know that in a specific place, you relapse when you are like bored or you are alone in a room or something like that, just change location. You can start working in like a cafe or just going outside if you are <laughs> not doing anything productive, something like that. The next thing is transmutating the energy. Every time you get the urge, you can do push-ups, you can go for a walk, for a workout, for anything. Just do something. If you are bored and sitting there with an urge, you will relapse. You need to take action immediately. Immediately when you get the urge, you need to take action. That's what I did. I get an urge, I do a workout, simply. Because also the workout can be even better. If you get the urge, you might feel more energetic, so it can help. Uh, the next thing is meditation. Really important part. Because when you meditate, you will start uh, becoming more mindful about your decisions during the day. And you are, when you are more mindful, you are able to uh, make decisions consciously. And when you get the urge, you are able to not mindlessly relapse, but uh, have a thought like, hmm, I got the urge, what I should do? And then you can like say, okay, I will do a workout because I got the urge. Because if you are not mindful, you will get the urge, you will relapse without even realizing. And that's the problem of a lot of people. So meditation can fix this. And the next thing uh, is you want to reach the golden point of NoFap. That's when uh, you did all the previous steps. For example, you did the, you found a really good purpose. You have someone keeping you accountable. You associated a pain with uh, fapping because you have an insane punishment in place. Stuff like that. You're maybe transmitting energy by doing workouts when you feel the urge. Stuff like that. You're changing location. Uh, the golden point, you will reach it in maybe like two, three, five months, something like that. And uh, that's when you stop counting days, you stop caring about NoFap because you rewired your brain. So congrats. So yeah, that's basically the video. You just need to reach the golden point, which also Hamza talked about, which is basically just your brain has rewired. You are not caring about NoFap anymore because you are not that kind of person anymore. The identity shift happened, which is insanely important. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Just listen to this advice and you can succeed on NoFap. Good luck and see ya.